Hey, I'm Cassidy Pope, and you're watching Celeb Secrets Country on Celeb Secrets TV. What's going on, you guys? Juliet from Celeb Secrets Country, and today I'm here with the lovely Cassidy Pope. Hey, girl. Hi, thanks for coming. No problem. How are you doing today? This is your EP release party? Yes, it's so exciting. It, it came out about a week ago, and tonight the fans are hearing the songs for the first time live. I just did sound check earlier, and they sound awesome. My band totally killed it, and um, I'm going to play, you know, some songs off frame by frame, a cover. So it's a nice short and sweet 45 minute sets because I know everybody's got places to be. Now, so people that haven't heard the EP yet, which I don't know why they aren't, but for people, yeah. that, for people <laughs> that haven't yet, what can you tell us a little bit about Summer EP? It's just like a, a huge uh, collage of my personality. I'll, every song tells a different story, and I feel like m now more than ever, my music has a message, it has a focal point, and um, after listening to the EP, you can really hear my growth since Frame by Frame. So it was really hard to pick the four songs, but I wanted to pick the four songs that showed all the different aspects of me. So yeah, and I wrote three of the four, so it feels very close to my heart. I was gonna say, you wrote three out of the four songs. What was the songwriting process like when you were in the studio making these? tracks? It was all different. Um, the three songs I wrote with all different co-writers, so um, it just depends. I mean, I went in with uh, a, a concept for um, Alien, and then for Piano, it was something that the one of the co-writers came up with, that concept, and I was just like, oh my god, I could write for days about that, that subject. Um, so, and then um, Summer was just me sitting in a room with Kelly Archer and Emily Shackleton, and uh, we just kept going around the room talking about different summer romances we've had and, you know, all the similar things we've gone through during those summer romances. So, yeah, it was just different every time. It was fun. It was like therapy. I saw you at the CMT Awards on Wednesday. You were performing with Pitbull. Oh, my gosh, like crazy. <laughs> did you have fun? I did. It was one of those things where I, when I was up there, I just remember thinking, I can't believe this is happening right now. Um, you know, I would never necessarily, it was never a goal to be performing with Pitbull, but when it was happening, I was like, this is a goal. This is an international superstar, and also Leona Lewis. I mean, we were kind of we come from the same kind of background, both from singing competition shows. So it just was. It was that aspect was really cool. And then Pitbull over there having you know such a different sound than than country, obviously, and just being welcomed into that venue and by CMT. It was just a really beautiful collaboration. So now when you started, you were on the Warped Tour scene. I remember going to Hey Monday concerts and cheering you on in the crowd. Been a fan for a while. And now you're a country artist. So how would you say your progression has been since you're an artist? And was it really welcoming the community? It was. I mean, I think I felt this inner pressure to just like prove to everybody that I am country through and through. And that's the, the kind of music I sang as a kid. When I first started singing at four years old, you know, I covered uh, a lot of country songs. And then the older I got, the more Matt Martina McBride songs I did and Faith Hill so when I got to town people were really sweet and welcoming but it was really me putting the pressure on myself so now I feel like it's just been very natural and authentic and um, people know that I'm here to stay and this is really where, where I want to be. You're killing it girl you're absolutely killing it now you're going out on the road again with Chris Young that tour has been a hot ticket. Yeah, it's been fun. I mean, we get to sing Think of You every night, which went number one. So thanks to everybody who checked it out. Um, my first number one, his eighth. Uh, but <laughs> when we go on stage and sing it, it's just been this progression we've been able to see where more and more people are singing along. So the fall tour with, um, I think there's like a segment with Dustin Lynch and then another segment with Dan and Shay. That fall tour is going to be great. And um, I'll be able to play some more songs off the summer EP now that it's out. Yeah. Is there one city that you just can't wait to visit when you're back on the road? Um, I don't know any of the cities I'm going to. <laughs> okay. I, I figured I'll get through this week because this week is insane and yeah. then I'll go in and I will memorize my schedule or try to for the fall. But I, I know that there are some more West Coast states which will be fun because it's beautiful. Yeah. We are Celeb Secrets Country, so this is the big question of the day we've been asking everyone. Secrets, hidden talents, maybe even fun facts about yourself that people would not know. I can yodel. Can you yodel for it? <laughs> I was like, is that the... Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, that was so good. I like the, the guy um, from The Price is Right. <laughs> going up the mountain. I just need a little hat. 
That's all. Awesome, Cassidy. Well, thank you so much thank for you. hanging out with us today. I'm super excited to see you perform. Thank you. I'm excited to perform for you. And you can check this interview out on celebsecretscountry.com. I'm Juliet, and we'll see you next time.